Well, good morning, relatives. Madakia say to each and every one of you here in the That means good morning in the Lakota Oglala language from South Dakota. That's where I'm from. I'm from Wundidni. Last night I went to Sweat Lodge and um, I had to pray and express myself. And this is what I do a lot of my, my time away from the computer. Um, when there's a swell lodge, I like to go there because it helps me to understand what's going on. And on top of that, I, I get to um, talk to the creator, the creator of all, all life. So this morning, what we're going to share about is, why did I choose Blood Liable? Relatives, when I started this program, I had a strong desire that I wanted our people to live. And me, me too, I, I did know. I did not know what I was getting into. And I did not know that this was going to be as heavy as it is. So here we go with blood liable. Blood liable is uh, described as killing people for what they believe in. Blood liable. Also, blood accusation, a false accusation or claim that religious minorities, usually Jews, murder children to use their blood in certain aspects of their religion, rituals, and holidays. Historically, these claims, alongside these as well, poison and host discretion have been a major theme in European perspectives, uh, per persecution of Jews, but blood libel typically typically alleges that the Jews required human blood for the baking of matozos for Passovers, although this element was absent in the earliest cases that claim modern Jews react, re enacted, re uh, <laughs> the crucifixion, <clears throat> the accusation that often assorted that the blood of Christian children is especially converted and historically blood libel claims have been made to account for otherwise unexpected death of children. <clears throat> Relatives, I want to stop right there. If you remember back in the early days of our my aunties and uncles and grandmothers and grandfathers, the saying is that they went to boarding schools and they beat the heck out of our loved ones. And some of them they even killed for believing in their traditional ways. And uh, a lot of us today, there's over 1,000 tribes. And there's a few tribes out there who don't know your traditional ways. You don't even know your language. Some of you are neglected for being Indian because you don't have paperwork or documents or things like that. <clears throat> and I'm... I myself, my name is Matomia Bear Woman, and I come from Pine Ridge. And I can never go past my Indian people. I can never step over the boundaries of the 300 million Indians who died. So what I'm gonna say, some of you may or may not like, and here we go. Because our people have died for what they believe in in our traditional ways, those 5% will never claim blood liable, but they all want to be multimillionaires. The government uh, failed their fiduciary duty and allowed an eighth grade dropout to run this country and claim to be a multimillionaire. Therefore, if you do not have lineage to your family history, of any of the tribes. You don't know where you come from, but you think you're Indian. There's nothing I can do about it or anybody else. What I'm suing for is for the Red Nation so our people can live. <clears throat> There's only enough full bloods to this country on the Red Nation to claim half of California. Because of that, there's many people from around the world who want a great part of the Red Nation for the gold, the oil, the uranium, the timber, whatever it might be. And this is uh, why it's really important for me to see to it that uh, over 1,000 of the Red Nation lives. All of uh, 
Mexico, United States, Canada, Alaska, Hawaii, Micronesia, and Belize that we live because it was our people who died for the sake of somebody else to have freedom, money, and things. And those who come here to the Great Red Nation are never, ever happy. They're never satisfied. They seem to think that when they come here, this land belongs to them and this land is for sale. So that Cobell case, I want the United States government and the lady who's the native Indian backing up that Cobell case to know that there was the Royal Proclamation, there was the um, treaties that were signed, there's the, um, uh, let's see, I don't know how many papers you guys had signed really, but I know it was quite a bit and there was nothing ever given to the Red Nation. However, there was papers after papers after papers that were signed. And there's um, dozens after dozens of businesses that were started. And these businesses are all illegal businesses. You failed your fiduciary duty to the Great Red Nation. And this is why I want the government of the United States to resign because they had no right to kill 300 million Indians. I don't know which tribe give them the authority to kill 300 million Indians, but I'm sure over 1,000 of us want to know who that one person is who said, yeah, kill 300 million Indians. And um, <clears throat> those who walk across the United States, the 13 indigenous grandmothers, the 564 plus tribes who all went Washington, D.C., and um, ask for help. I want to say thank you for thinking of the rest of us. And I feel that Washington, D.C. is like a, a shell, an empty shell. There's no one home. Because the way that I was told <clears throat> when I went to a meeting with Quickstar is that uh, the 5% rich, <clears throat> excuse me, the 5% rich are the ones who pay the government to be in office. And who do you th how do you think the government gets paid? And my relatives, I'm not rich or nothing, so what I'm going to ask you to do is help me to get to the international courts. And we are going to ask that the United States government be put on hold and uh, that those who claim responsibility of the 5% rich, that they be accountable for blood liable. And I ask that, um, I ask that uh, you please um, help me push to see that we get our land back, all of it, not some of it, but all of it, anything six inches underground to everything above ground. Because if we don't, our people will fall. If one tribe's fall, it's going to be a domino effect and all tribes will fall. And this Illuminati will soon have its way. But so long as the Red Nation is alive, this land is not for sale. And somebody needs to tell Russia that that uranium is ours. And they also need to tell China that that 65 million, I hope that the government can pull that out of their ass because this land does not belong to them. Neither does the gold, the uranium, or anything else. It's all stolen, and they got it only through killing our people. And it um, needs to be addressed on an international level. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who watched this video. Aho madakia say many blessings to the four directions. I say that in the most sacred way with these eagle feathers. <clears throat> um, those who are walking today across the United States wish you lots of luck through this time in life I know you guys did it many a time before so I just want to say thank you for doing that I myself am not an AIM person I'll never support America and all the work that I do those are the reasons why 300 million people are alive maybe you should change the name and then I'll think about supporting you I'll, I'll say.